I'm not gonna lie guys, I thought I was not gonna like this, I thought I was gonna hate this, but this might be one of the most accidental, badass projects I have ever done. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, we're gonna be doing something pretty darn cool. So, check this out. We have got the F-O-R-D letters, which come on the front of the Ford Raptor grills for an F-150. So, right now, I currently have the black honeycomb backdrop of the Ford Raptor grill on my 2020 F-150 right now. I opted not to put the letters on it when I bought the grill and installed it, but now, I have come into some lead foot gray color match paint which I was able to find off of Amazon this is from a company called spectral paints so they will send you a can of paint that will match the color of your vehicle and then pair it up with some clear coat to go along with it so I had the idea of like man I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna color match the FORD that comes on the front of this grill, color match them lead foot gray to my truck, and then install them and see if I like the look of that. So today, we're gonna sand these guys down, we're gonna clean them off, we're gonna paint them, and then we're gonna see how they look on the truck. Okay, so all the letters have been cleaned up, sanded down, cleaned off again, dried off. These guys have been sitting for over 15 minutes after hand drying to do a little bit of extra air drying. Just wanted to make sure that there was no more moisture at all left on any of the surfaces. So now we're gonna hit it with the first couple coats of this here um, lead foot gray spray paint. All right, the first light coat is on. It's not gonna lie, as you're spraying this, because it already is a somewhat gray backdrop, it's a little difficult to tell where you need to hit with the paint and whatnot. But so far, this is definitely gonna turn out to be a very matte and flat matte, uh, lead foot gray, which I'm really excited about. Not gonna lie, I didn't know anything about this company before I bought the spray paint for these letters, so I was a little bit nervous but so far it definitely looks flat and matte like the lead foot gray that's on my truck right now. So we're gonna let this dry for as long as it needs to. I believe the can said like 25 to 30 minutes in between coats. We're gonna give it that much time. We'll come back and we'll hit it with the second coat. Because of all the different shapes and curves and everything of these letters, you can see I'm spraying from a bunch of different angles because I didn't want to leave any bare spots or any missed areas um, by sh uh, spraying from one straight pattern the whole time. As much as I wanted to be able to maintain you know, a solid 12 to 15 inches away from the letters while spraying, it really wasn't possible to do that if you were going to be able to spray all the different angles and nooks and crannies that these things had. So I did have to vary my distance a little bit here and there, but luckily I never ran into any runs or heavy fish eye spots or anything like that. We are getting ready to spray over the third and final coat um, before we apply the clear coat over the top of these. So far everything's looking good. I don't have anything like bubbling up or looking wet and the color, especially on camera right now, is looking like it's going to match perfectly to my truck. With this being the final coat that I was spraying over with the actual paint before the clear coat, I wanted to be sure to go very thick and very heavy. I did wet overlapping coats, um, almost to the point where I thought it might have been too much, but like I said already, I never ran into any runs or anything like that. 
I wanted to make sure that this thing was caked and coated on there and that there would be plenty of paint underneath the clear coat to shine through and actually be protected. Okay guys, on that last coat, I tried to lay it down super wet, super thick after hitting it with two light coats. So far, like I said, it looks awesome. I don't have any runs. I don't have any spots where it's bubbling up or cracking or having like a bad reaction. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying not to get too excited, but honestly, the way that this is turning out, I just can't imagine how this could look anything besides awesome. We're gonna let these guys dry for half an hour, which is what I've been doing in between coats. So we've done first coat, half an hour, second coat, half an hour, third coat, half an hour. I might give this guy a little bit more time to dry than the previous ones, honestly, since I went so heavy and made it a super wet, thick coat for the last one. And then, uh, so yeah, I'll probably do like 45 minutes, maybe an hour, and then we'll come back and we'll hit it with the first coat, a clear coat. We're gonna be doing the same process where we do um, like a light coat, 30 minutes, another light coat, 30 minutes, and then I'll probably hit it with like, I'll probably do four light coats in total of the clear coat. If you guys are wondering about the paint that I bought off of Amazon, this is the brand right here, Spectral Paints. Like I said previously, I'd never heard of them before, but the way that it's laying down, it looks exactly OEM as far as color match goes. So I'm really excited to hit it with this clear coat and see how the finished product looks. All right, so now we're shaking up the clear coat. Gonna hit this guy with the first light coat. I believe the plan is to do three or four light coats. Um, be easy on me in the comments, guys. I know this is not a professional paint job, but I'm thinking that even with these spray cans, we're gonna get some pretty darn good looking results. And I know a lot of you are probably like, oh my gosh, why aren't you wearing a respirator, blah, blah, blah. I don't have one. They're pretty hard to come by right now. As you know, things are pretty crazy in the world right now. So I do have the garage door open for ventilation purposes. And as soon as I'm done spraying, I immediately leave this and I'm out of this area for the 30 minutes that I'm waiting in between coats. So be gentle on me with that too. So I'm not sure what that is or where that came from. I don't know if that's like particle that came on after the fact, but as you can see right there, we do have a little bit of an imperfection, unfortunately. I mean, we are lucky as far as the location goes because it is on the outer, like upper edge. And so you won't be able to see it when like directly facing these things. But so far, that's the only imperfection we have. And this stuff is looking good. All right guys, fourth and final coat of clear coat. Gonna go super heavy with this one. Try and lay it on thick, hopefully don't get any runs. Well, we somehow made it through without any runs. We did have that one little imperfection on like the top side over there, but I truthfully don't think that that was me. I think that might've been like a bug or something that landed on it. Um, so yeah, everything looks awesome. Everything is, I'm glad that there's no like, uh, like pearl or metallic in uh, this clear coat. I was worried about that, but this is gonna be a nice matte, not matte, it is gloss, but like, the lead foot gray, there's no metallic in it, there's no pearl in it. It looks exactly like how the color of my truck looks. This is awesome, I, I cannot wait to let this 
sit out, dry overnight, and see what it looks like tomorrow in the sunlight, and then I'm gonna install it on my truck and I'll show you guys the before and after shots. I'm not gonna lie guys, I thought I was not gonna like this, I thought I was gonna hate this, but this might be one of the most accidental badass projects I have ever done. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you liked it. I am honestly probably the most surprised that I have ever been as far as the final product for a project that I've done in the past. I was not expecting it to look this good. I was not expecting to like it as much as I liked the way that this thing looked. Um, I will note, I think you guys might already be able to tell, but the F is like a little bit crooked. Um, like the bottom like part of the F like is like a little bit angled up like that. I don't know why. Um, hopefully that'll be an easy fix. Hopefully I can just like pull it down and readjust it a little bit. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or anything at all, leave it down below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Everything I use, the paint, the grill, the letters, everything is linked down below if you guys are wondering where you can pick that up for yourself. If you guys are brand new, if you guys are liking uh, these types of videos that I'm making, consider subscribing. I've got a lot more content like this coming. Um, I have some paint and some clear coat left over from what I just used in today's video. I am going to be taking the back emblem off of my truck. As you guys know, all the Ford emblems come in blue. I am going to be taking that and making it black and lead foot gray to match the color of the truck. So keep an eye out for that video coming up very, very soon. And as always, if you have any questions or anything, leave them down below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will catch you guys on the next video. I think Bandit's a little, a little dumb with the videos for today. Getting hype when I aim up. Elevating that game up Stepping up to the competition Only first place and that's how I'm living I'm with it till they digging up my grave Eating all the things up on my plate Game face when I step up in the place I was born and when I watched the other day Then when I show up, whole place about to blow up. Superior to that competition. I'm in first place, and that's how I'm living. I'm winning till they digging up my grave. Eating all the things up on my plate. Game face when I step up in the place.